Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and doing a quick tutorial for BigBlockBooks.com. And I want to show you how to do very simple fade ins on text or images in PubCoder. So this is what we're going to be doing. Take a look at this page here. We'll click on preview. And you see both the image and the text actually faded in. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go to our before page. Matter of fact, let's start this from the very beginning. I'm going to go ahead and take out this image. And I'm going to leave the text here. But if I double click on the text, you can edit this. And this is some of the CSS and colors that we did. We actually did a drop shadow. But I'm not going to be showing you that in this lesson. So what I want to show you is the assets we have is the picture here. But if I drag this straight over to the page, it comes in a lot smaller than what it usually is. And that's actually not the way you should be doing this. So I'm going to undo that. Let's do Command Z. And instead, I'll go to Objects. And I'll click on Image, drag that to my page. And I'll just click and drag so it actually fills the area. And then for assets, I'll go ahead and grab the picture and just drop that into our little container. Now, if you're familiar with working with programs like InDesign, it kind of works the same way. So you're basically placing the picture box there then you place the picture. You wouldn't want to place it by itself. OK, so now we have this, but we lost the type. So what I want to do next is simply right click on the image here, go to Arrange, and I want to send this to the back. And there's our type. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this. So if I click on Preview, So we saw the type show up first, and then the image just kind of flashed onto the screen. Not bad, but it looks a little bit choppy that way. So I'm going to do a little cheat here and have the image fade in. So let's close this out. Now make sure this is selected. I'm going to go over here to our selection. There's page selection and interactivity. And under selection, you'll see a little box for hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. And now our image looks like it's interlaced like video footage or something like that. So if I preview now, the image isn't there at all, which is the first part of what we need to do. Let's close that out. And with this still selected, I want to now go to interactivity. And instead of on touch, what I wanted to do is to fade in as the page loads. So I'm going to go up to the top and click on Load. And I want to add a new action. And I'll come down and I'll say Show Object. Now, the first part of saying the target is self, meaning the object we have selected, which is a picture. And then there's fade duration. It's set by default at zero seconds, which basically means it's going to pop up. And we don't want that. What I'm going to do is change this to about three seconds. OK. And we'll test this out again. And so instead of the image just popping up, it's now fading in. All right, now what I want to do, I want to do the same thing to the text. So close this out. I'll select the text. And we'll go to Selection. Make sure it's hidden. And then we'll go to Interactivity. We'll go up to the top on Load. We'll come down and we'll select Show Object. And maybe I'll make this come in a little bit after that. So I'm going to 
type in something like five seconds. Now, I'm exaggerating these times, uh, mainly because I want to show you what's happening. So if I click on preview, we should see the image come in and the text is coming in right behind that. All right, so I'm going to click on reload. So we have both the text and the image fading in now. So by doing this, we're able to hide any inconsistencies with respect to a loading speed, whether the end user is on a system that might not be moving that fast, or perhaps your book is much larger. So the page is still going to be showing something to the end user so they won't think that it's frozen or anything like that. All right. So that's that quick lesson on how you can fade in things. And you can even go in and say, hey, I want this to fade in or out if you click on it or if you touch it, or maybe even when you shake the iPad or Kindle or something like that, maybe that's how the fade starts to work. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our free course on how to create your own interactive children's ebook. And you can get there by going to bigblockbooks.com. And it's a 30 minute course and it shows all these little tricks you can do inside of PubCoder and how you can create your own ebook, maybe in a weekend or possibly even a day. Now, if you've already taken the course and you want to get a little more information, you can easily sign up for our one on one training and you can go there directly from our page at Big Block Books. Click on one on one training and you can check out either our 30 minute or one hour one on one sessions where I will work with you individually on your own project. Last but not least, keep your ears open. We do have our advanced courses that will be launching later this month. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and BigBlockBooks.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.